Hi guys! Today I'd like to show you how to make these little poles, which you can use uh, for decorating clothes, accessories, or just to use for a headband or hair elastic or hair clip. You'll need a hook, some yarn and scissors. We'll start our knitting with a magic ring. So we go in with our with the end of the yarn like that and we go in over two fingers and we make it across. Now we go in with a hook under first yarn and we grab in the other yarn we twist in and we go in under longer end of a yarn and we make a slip stitch. Now we have a slip stitch and the magic circle. Then we need to make four chains or a chain of four. After that, we're gonna make quadruple stitch. So for that, we're gonna go over one time of a hook, second and third. So now we have four uh, stitches or four loops on a hook. After that, we go in inside a magic circle and we grab in a yarn. So now we have five loops on a hook. After that, we go in under yarn and grabbing it and pulling it through two loops. So now we have four loops on a hook. And we go in again under yarn and pulling it through two another loops. Now we have three loops on a hook left and again going under a yarn and pulling it through two other loops and only two loops left last time going under a yarn and pulling it through two loops and one quadruple stitch done so now we need to repeat four more times with our quadruple crochet. Again, three loops on a hook, going for another one in the magic ring. Five, five loops on a hook again, going for a yarn and pulling it through two. Again, pulling through two. Again, and one more time, and we're done. Now I'm gonna repeat in in a faster way. So now we have five quadruple crochet in our magic ring and one chain of four. Now we need to make four chains again. So we have our four chains and we joining it to the magic circle with a slip stitch. So how are we making that? So now we have four stitches or chain of four and we need to join it to a magic ring. So we go in inside, pulling the thread and pulling it through a loop and we join it with a slip stitch. So now we're gonna make four chains again and we just go in one, three, 
four. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna pull our shorter uh, end and we're gonna make our magic loop or magic green smaller. And on this side, we're gonna repeat the same five quadruple crochet in the magic circle as we have on this side and we're gonna finish it with four um, chains on the other side. So we're gonna make our first quadruple crochet. We're going over our hook three times so we have four loops on a hook going inside our magic green pulling one loop and we go in with our thread through two loops and again and again and again until we're gonna have only one loop on a hook and we'll repeat in that four more times it's basically the same way as we did on this side now we have five quadruple crochet on a in the magic green on this side as well and we have one chain of four loops on this side and we need to make another four stitches or four chains on the other side and we finish in our ball or our knitting with a slip stitch on this side so we're going inside the magic green grabbing the thread and we're pulling it through our chain here and we can actually cut our yarn and we're just gonna leave a little bit of end here and we can pull our yarn through that's how we have it right now so what we're gonna do we're gonna close our magic circle for that we're gonna pull our shorty end of the yarn until the circle is closed and now we see that the circle is closed so we need to make it a little bit nicer so what we're gonna do we're gonna all go over with our yarn few more times few times over our knitting that's just the way I like it to be if you like it to be with just uh, a little bit of for seeing magic green that's okay as well but I prefer it to be closed and covered with a yarn so I'll go like that. We can go on the other side now. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna just tie these two ends together. So we tied it together. Let's see what we have now. So that's what we have. And like it, I'd like it to be, I'd like it to have a little more threads here or yarn here so I'm gonna go again with the yarn and on this side as well I'm gonna go like that now I like it more so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go on the other side again and I'm gonna tie these two ends one more time. Yeah, I like it. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more tighter. I'm gonna go with another one here. And 
that's it. Now we have our little ball. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this ball, so I'm going to leave for now this little two ends so I can attach it easily to anything I like. It can be something, some accessory for here or some um, um, accessories or just decoration for a purse or for a bag or just other clothes.